Tonight we are dining at OK Corral at Sandals Antigua. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So for OK Corral here, this is a Western style tex mex -y type of restaurant. And this is a little special one because obviously we're here in Sandals uh, Antigua and not in the United States, which is really nice. Uh, a nice little break from everyday nonsense. If you don't know, uh, Sandals is all inclusive. So all of the food here is included. Um, if you actually wanted to order more than one entree, you could do that. Or if you want to order more than one appetizer, you could do that as well, or more than one dessert. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, drinks are also included. And uh, tonight we've got a special drink. And of course, I can't remember what it is because it's a special cocktail that is specific for the restaurant here. Uh, but what I do know is that it's a margarita. And if you have been watching us for a while, I don't really like tequila. Mm. Oh, wow. Well. Um, it's actually really good. Super smooth. Um, almost has a uh, Terramana tequila taste to it. That's probably not what it is, um, but that's how I can relate to it. I like the nice little bit of bite from the salts. It's still nice and sweet. Um, but it doesn't have uh, that awful tequila taste that I, I feel like I get sometimes. So this is really good. It's nice and smooth. And uh, I'm going to enjoy it. Maybe get another one because they're included. For my appetizer tonight, I got the barbecue pulled pork taco. This is served on a flour tortilla with coleslaw and then on the side, sour cream, guacamole, and tomato salsa. Uh, this was actually a really good taco. I loved the flavor of the barbecue on the pulled pork. The pulled pork was nice and tender, and the barbecue sauce was actually a little bit sweet. I was kind of expecting it to be more savory, almost a little more salty, um, but I actually really did enjoy the sweetness, um, and I did like the little bit of crunch that the coleslaw added into there. I actually don't really even like coleslaw, and I didn't think about it till right now, um, but it just looked so good, and it actually all went together really well. For my appetizer, tonight I got the uh, grilled shrimp cocktail this came with four shrimp a smoked chili cocktail sauce toast tones and lime and uh, I would highly recommend anytime that you get any type of uh, shrimp cocktail please serve it with lime take that lime squeeze it over your shrimp it adds a little bit more of a flair to it um, I, I think the highlight here was that smoked chili cocktail sauce I know for me normally I'm always expecting your kind of standard horseradish kind of ketchup mixture and this added Again, another uh, profile to it, another taste, uh, which was that sweetness of almost, I know it says smoked chili, but I almost felt like it was closer to a sweet chili barbecue sauce um, with the shrimp. And it was really good, I, I enjoyed it. So, uh, and you can't go wrong. I mean, shrimp cocktail, always good. For my entree tonight, I got the surf and turf. This is served with a ribeye steak, shrimp kebab, smoky tomato salsa, mashed potatoes, and an ancho chili demi-glaze. This was a really good surf and turf. Um, I was actually thinking maybe I was a little disappointed when I saw that it only came with two shrimp. However, they were quite large and the steak was also really big as well. And I am seriously so stuffed. I don't even think we're gonna be able to have dessert tonight. Uh, I got my ribeye cooked medium rare and it was perfect. And I loved the demi glaze that came on it. Um, kind of gave it a Tex-Mex feel because of that ancho chili there. Um, and the shrimp were grilled and I, they had the little bit of chard on them, but not too much. Um, they were cooked nice and tender. Um, overall, a really nice surf and turf to start off our stay at Sandals. For my entree tonight, I got the slow cooked pork baby back ribs. And I've got to say, uh, this is actually their signature dish on the menu, but I am a very picky person when it comes to ribs. Um, I tend to be somebody who you'd be like, well, you're really picky. The only ribs that I tend to eat are from Applebee's. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad, um, but most of the time they are done perfectly. Uh, and these were uh, super tender, fall right off the bone, nice barbecue sauce to it, and um, way, way better than what I was expecting here um, for kind of like that all-inclusive meal. So I would definitely recommend that you get this. It comes with a mesquite barbecue uh, sauce, coleslaw, cornbread, and mashed potatoes. So uh, I didn't even eat the cornbread. Uh, mashed potatoes were uh, more on the whipped mashed potato end rather than kind of like that more chunky 
uh, traditional mash. Uh, and then the coleslaw was your more traditional coleslaw, a little bit of vinaigrette, a little bit of mayo, uh, pretty good. So I, I really, really enjoyed this. I thought this was really good. I am super stuffed. We can't get dessert too full. And uh, yeah, I think if you're coming to Samples, this is a great place. You do need to probably get a reservation for here. And in order to do that, make sure that you either call down to the front desk or go to the front desk and let them know that you would like to make a reservation for OK Corral. All right, so we just finished eating at OK Corral here at Sandals Antigua. I always want to say Antigua. <laughs> I guess that's wrong, but uh, it was pretty good. Western Tex-Mex style yes. food. It was really good. I enjoyed the overall meal. I liked the um, like barbecue pulled pork at the beginning, and then I liked my steak that I had for my meal. It's been a little while since I've had one, and yeah. it was just overall really good. It was. Uh, and of course, uh, I know usually we would talk about prices, but obviously mm -hmm. there are no prices because it's yeah. all inclusive. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, Basically, when you're done eating, if you don't get dessert or if you do get dessert, when you're finished, you basically just get up and leave whenever you're ready, which yeah. is kind of a weird feeling, it but um, it's super casual and you just, yeah. you know, you because, go when you go. And another thing too that you might not know, but tips are, um, they are already included here at yes. Sandals. So there is no tipping at all. Um, mm -hmm. Servers and other people, and everything. they're not allowed to accept them uh, yes. and they will turn them away if you try to. So just keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Um, but yeah, it was a good meal. Uh, like mm -hmm. I said, you probably will need to get a reservation. I think that's the way that they're doing yes. it right now. So, and it was also nighttime or dark anyway, yeah. whenever we ate here, cause we did eat a little bit of a later dinner tonight. Um, but one really nice thing about this restaurant is that you can actually hear and see the ocean from there. Yeah. And if you come before sunset, you can get beautiful views of the ocean and actually the sun setting. So normally we would ask you guys, uh, you know, let us know if you've been here before, but we realized <laughs> that some of you probably, or most of you probably haven't been here before. Mm -hmm. So instead, maybe let us know if this is a place that you would be willing to come in and try uh, to a vacation to, something a little bit different yeah. here at Sandals Antigua. Antigua. 